Yo, you clan, what's up, y'all? I hope you're having a great day. As you can see, we are back at it again for another parking lot training day. This one was at a different parking lot, but we had it set it up very similar with cones set up in a circle, cones set up for you to do a U-turn, and cones set up for you to do some S-turns and learn some tight turns. This was a little challenging for me today because of putting that tire in the back of the bike. I wasn't quite sure how much harder it was going to make it. And indeed, it did make it a little bit harder, but uh, I see I'm going to need some more practice. Now, uh, a few of us, I will go ahead and tell you now, yeah, I, here shortly you'll see I dumped, I dumped the bike. And uh, actually, quite a few of us dumped the bike that day. We tried really hard, but eh, just didn't just didn't work out so, so well so a few of us did dump, dump our bikes that's okay it was all slow move so there's no damage the parking lot was wet it did rain right before we started doing this and it looks like they had trimmed the grass and mowed but whoever did it failed to blow off the driveway which was kind of frustrating because not only were we having to deal with wet roads but we're also having to deal with debris on the parking lot too. No matter how hard I tried to make that turn, to make a U-turn, that's what these cones are set up for is U-turns. I just could not make and stay in that turn. And here's where I dump my bike. So I come back up and I try to avoid this stupid cone. I got too close and oh, stalled it and thump, there I go. Dang it. You know, it's not really easy doing slow speed turning with a thousand pound bike. I did take the tour pack off to kind of reduce how top heavy the bike is, but yeah, it makes a difference, but not really a whole lot. So let's get this thing started again. We'll be on our way. I did have the drone out there, so I got some cool aerial shots. Here I am just checking out the left side of my bike, making sure it's not torn up. Thankfully, the uh, engine guard and the saddlebag guards protected it pretty well. And you can see this fellow here, watch how tight he, see, I was doing my circles on the outside of the cones. Look at him on the inside of the cones. You'll see later, he gets that circle even tighter. I was impressed. Here he is talking with our road captain on the right there, right above the tree. He's going to go back into that circle, and he's going to do the same thing, but he's going to do it in the other direction this time. Watch how tight he gets this turn. I was impressed, to say the least. Here he goes. He is one of our newest members, but let me tell you, with those circles right there, he definitely impressed me with his slow speed riding ability. I, on the other hand, did not have a very good day. I was the first person to drop my bike, but not the only one, thankfully. <laughs> Our road captain dumped too, but we won't talk about that because, you know, I don't want to make a blush. I'm gonna try this U-turn again. The key is making a dip before you come around and make your U-turn, which I did not do there, and therefore I had a lot wider radius of the turn. If you look up Moto Jiu Jitsu, that's where we got the layout for this. This is the blue course from Moto Jiu Jitsu. Oh, <laughs> there goes another one. Moto Jiu Jitsu has, a, he's a YouTuber also, and he has a lot of different videos showing slow speed parking, lot drills, and how they can really help your ride. And right here, you can see I'm chasing one of our hang arounds around the circle. And here comes the same rider doing, watch how tight he gets this circle. Billy's his name. 
he got a really good, really tight circle. I was definitely impressed. The Moto Jiu Jitsu has a really good instructional videos out there and he's got a little booklet you can, I think there's a PDF of it online that you can see. He's got probably about six different levels. And basically the circle will you know, go from a 25 foot radius to maybe down to a 15 foot radius based upon your skill levels. So check out Moto Jiu Jitsu and you can lay out your course similar to the way we have ours laid out here. Other bike down. That's the thing, every bike that went down was pretty much just like that, slow speed. And when you're trying to do slow speed maneuvering, you don't have your RPM high enough, you're trying to feather the clutch and it just stalls and falls. And watch how he does, see he went to the left and then dipped to the right, and now he can make that turn and make it within the cones. I attempted that, but still didn't quite make it. Got closer on that one, but I don't know how much having a motor uh, car tire in the back is affecting that, or if it's more just operator. I have a feeling it's a lot more problem with the operator than it is the uh, equipment itself. So here you can see Andrew, yeah, he took out a comb, but watch, uh, he's the one who you just saw fall over not too long ago last bike that tipped over and, and look he, he got it how nice and tight that circle was inside the coats good job Andrew. Now, let me tell you this is actually pretty tiring you you will bust a sweat when you are doing this it's not just as easy as it looks especially because you're moving a thousand pound machine and trying to balance it and trying to turn it trying to go correct speed, give it the correct amount of gas, the correct amount of brake, as you try to maneuver, oh, there goes another one, as you try to maneuver the bike around the cones, they, they are heavy, it takes a lot of work. I think that's about it for me for the day. I think everybody's getting kind of tired. Thankfully, she survived. No damage. One of our brothers came in late in the cage, but he still got his practice in. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this parking lot video. I hope you enjoy it, and I challenge you to go out and do the same. Thanks for watching, Yogi Clan.